All right. It is very late today. I have time to talk about some stuff, but I haven't had time to rake everything. And Tucker's finally home to make a video with me. And we're here to talk about reproduction bodies. At least some of them that, well, one of them we're hopefully to maybe get to next year. Because we mentioned it a couple of times. Oh, I got a lot of stuff to rake. feeling pretty good next week if it doesn't snow too bad I'm gonna dig out the 55 finally and people are wanting me to work on the macho power wagon you know Randy Savage but I'm not that situated yet to work on him so this was seen a long long time ago the 28 Willie's night weapon pickup or 29 it's like 28 29 so the only thing that's really missing on this is the front clip, the entirety of the front clip, and we're having issues trying to find a front clip for this. But we're hopefully, you know, next year we'll, you know, make one piece at a time as best, you know, as slow as we can. We're we'll starting with the back and then the cab. Ain't much to it. Pretty much, uh, isn't the entire floor on this wood? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing that's wood on this is the floor of course the wooden the door supports and all of the uh uh boxes wood including the tailgate wasn't it yeah it was yeah so people been wanting us to put this together you know temporarily well we were going to but as you can see it's getting pretty nasty and the wind's picking up so I do apologize about the wind sound um on a nice day i'll put it together myself because you know i could lift that stuff but I can't lift nothing like a rear axle and everything just yet, but I can pick up light stuff, you know, like that front end right there. And that's to the, the Dodge Brothers, the 29, the front clip right there, isn't it? Yeah, that's to the Victory 6 over there. Okay. But yeah, this one um, we're going to start out with, with a seal reproduction, uh, just like this, wide body. Uh, I would love to learn how to do stuff for, uh, for the rails, for, for the frame. But I don't know how they exactly make that groove right there. Everyone does the box and everything, but I don't want to do that. I want to keep something like this so that way whenever someone gets the frame, you know, they could box it in and do whatever they want. Uh, of course, fenders, they're steel. Running boards were steel too, weren't they? Or uh, metal or something? Uh, no, those are actually wood. There's part of wood. There's oh, they're wood as well? Right okay. So yeah, this is going to be our learning thing for making steel reproduction bodies. Uh, normal body, we'll also make a wide body, you know, we'll widen the frame. Because like I said, I can't find no guides to make these, you know, these humps right here online. And people are saying, it's like, oh, just go ahead and make a square. It's like, I don't want to make a square. I want to kind of make them natural. That's why when I get that 48 uh, Mercury uh, Woody uh, wagon, don't know if it's a two-door or four-door yet. Didn't Buck say it's a two-door? I don't remember. Yeah. I know it's a Mercury, but... Yeah, it's like a 48 Mercury. So, so yeah, this is going to be our learning thing on a lot of these steel reproduction stuff. Trial and error. Um, you know, when we get something done, it'll be posted up on a website. Won't be an auction or anything. Serious, you know, purchases only. So, uh, if someone comes back with a boo-boo thing, they'll be marked and all that stuff, you know, all that kind of market thing. But the 28, or excuse me, 29 Willie's Night Whip It Pickup. Um, the 32 Pontiac two door sedan. We've never had an opportunity to talk about your th I'm 34. Yeah, you're, 34. no, you're 34, I meant to say. I don't know where I got 32 from. I do apologize, but there's a 32 around here, some damn place. But yeah, the 34 Pontiac two door sedan. We've never had an opportunity to talk about this at all. Um, when we get more advanced, we want to do the 36 uh, five window coupe and the 36 Oldsmobile. But I kind of want to save that next year, um, trying to get it, you know, propped up, build a steel uh, floor for it, get a tube frame, you know, once we get the certain things rolling. But yeah, it's pretty much 
uh, right here, over here to right there. The 31 uh, Oldsmobile Phaeton, Phaeton. But the, something. I can't remember how you pronounce it right. Yeah, rare car. Uh, you know, normal bodies, wide bodies. When things get bigger, there's other plans that we have, but we don't want to announce that just yet until we get you know things going. Um, you said you wanted to do the 29 Dodge Brothers Victory Six too, didn't you? I think so. Yeah. What about your uh, uh, Chrysler, your 27 Chrysler Imperial? Were you going to do that, or were we going to do something custom with those reproduction bodies? I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, we're still sitting down and everything because you know, yeah, we, you know, collecting, slowly restoring, but you know, autumn, yeah, automotive and uh, dirt cat uh, automotive and and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There we go. But yeah, automotive and restoration. Automotive is to do, you know, like reproduction, steel parts and everything, and restoration is, you know, the car collection that we get and, and stuff that we can get in the future you know they're storing our own so um let's see here um the aa doodle bugs those might be happening next year but i'm still doing some research so uh was there any year something that you wanted to say about this 36 5 window coupe i can't remember it was a while ago no, this is why I originally thought about putting that Jaguar engine in. Oh, yeah, I remember that, the Jag. And I decided not to. Yeah, you want to put in the 56 Ford, the Crestliner. Yeah, at first, I thought about doing the 34 Pontiac. Yeah. Then I thought, oh, I might, that might be a little bit too dangerous. And I thought about this. And then I finally broke down and went to the 56. Yeah, and that 56 is like a tank. Just without no engine or transmission. But, yeah, we've talked a little bit about this. And uh, people have actually been wanting to... Uh, see the 34 uh, Pontiac so yeah it's, it's it's she's bare bone I mean it's still something the worth of you know the mess That's with pretty much what you see is what it is yep but I couldn't pass a sedan up like this yeah and she's got original frame it's got original frame um you know the cowl and everything stuff it had the tarp all wooden frame um reproduction bodies that we'll be making some will have wood others you know for like street rotting and everything will have steel uh skeletal structures stuff you know hopefully that will you know be adequate for someone to put like electrical windows or stuff and everything in it so but yeah um this one will be more advanced this one will be like medium because you know of how simple she is but yeah we kind of figured that the willie's night whip it pickup will be a perfect candidate to make paper patterns off of and then go you know just kind of slap everything together not tearing it apart and we know how to you know make patterns off of this and so and so but making actual steel reproduction bodies we've never really quite done that before that'll be a very very first really yeah it's going to be a lot of trial and error I got the oh yeah you do yeah never that. oh you never did oh really yeah, it's curtain racks. Yeah, yeah, point them out real fast. Where the yeah, the old original curtain rack. But yeah, she's very, very bare bone. Don't know what this originally was. I don't know if it was either an automatic or uh, it's probably been one of those uh, uh, three speeds on the floor, maybe. Yeah, one time. I know nothing about these cars. That's the thing. But when we start, you know, building these, we gotta start looking them up. Because you know, the others that we've grabbed, it's like, yeah, I start to learn about them and everything. But we just kind of, well, you kind of grab these on the fly because he offered these to you, and you're just, it's like, yeah, sure, I'll grab them. Yeah, I bought them both at the same time. Yeah, this one and and this one came home together when there was actually <laughs> room out here when we were able to back the trailer in. Uh, but yeah, steel reproduction, I don't know how long it's going to take us to build something like this because, you know, we're still building everything up as is. So, and people keep asking us if we want money. It's like, no, we're just after subscribers. The money that we want to get is from the store, from the stuff that we, you know, make by our own hands and everything. Because it'll be, you know, from the car channel, uh, other channels, you know, the cooking channel once we get that up. 
uh, to announce it now an outdoor fishing channel once we get situated later next year but uh, some of that stuff's going to be your your baby and i'm going to be following suit on that the cooking channel is going to be, be between both of us so but yeah it's there's a lot of stuff that's going to be happening um but yeah we're not after no money no patreon no membership no donations no nothing of any, no way shape or form just stuff that we create and sell by our own hands because we want to earn our keep and uh and we're just mainly after subscribers here on youtube yeah so yeah just i want to talk a lot more but as you can see it's it's starting to get pretty nasty and it's getting cool pretty fast so anything you want to add no we'll probably end up already lined up four other cars i was dumb enough saw them uh yeah i gotta pick up a few more cars for him um and i also gotta pick up the that 68 cougar and that 48 uh woody's uh, uh mercury woody yeah the remains of it so uh you're not going to pick up that 39 mercury are you it's sitting up to buy his yard yeah i thought about it it's the it's the bait right now for you I'm yeah because i'll be talking it's missing a lot of stuff missing its frame yeah missing its front clip and with it being first year mercury that might be yep 1939 was the first year mercury he's still trying to bait on it because uh i'll be going over to our relative's place on wednesday get special permission to go in because he's he's closed now he's retired so i'll have to pick those up not unless the snow is really bad i'll have to pick up some of his uh shoe boxes and some others that he decided to buy so so pretty much everything in a nutshell i believe all right please take consideration of liking sharing commenting and subscribing thank you very much for the support that you've shown us all this time and once I'm back to 100%, then I'll start working on everything, and I'm going to have to put the uh, Cadillac a little bit on hold because now it's going to be a very, very nasty winter, so I won't be able to uh, do much of any sort of body work, so I'll just work on stuff out here, here, and there. It might be one video per week, depending on how the weather is. So, shorts, uh, it's going to start uploading more of those here and there. It won't be nothing special, but uh, we'll just have to see in time. So, y'all have a good night. Take care and stay safe. See you later, and thanks again for the support.